Okay, Suze, how do I get financial freedom? It's a fair question, totally fair question. I'm gonna tell you some stuff I did do that I think would be a good idea if you did that as well. And then I'm gonna tell you some stuff where I made mistakes, which I think you'd probably be better off uh, avoiding. And where am I? Right beside the sea in Bali, right beside a water lily park at the moment. And um, water lilies only come out in the morning. So look, can you see them? And they're beautiful. And this is a park that people use for exercise. So you might see people walking past me right um first off this is totally possible you can 100 percent do it if i can do it you can do it secondly i want you to write a plan i always do i want you to write a five-year plan because there's no point you create it if you're like susa i'm the person that wants to be hanging out i mean literally the beach is there hanging out on the beach well there's no point you buying yourself a whole bunch of hmos is there because they need to be managed you need to buy single so figure out what you want to actually achieve in your life and how best you can build a portfolio to deliver that to yourself. The third thing I want you to have a look at is your time, your money and your resources and then you're going to realize you don't have enough of any of them. Um, so, uh, t time, money and skills, sorry. So skills, easy. My vids, go to our website, you know, come to our, some of our, you know, malarkey, come to some of our workshops. Um, some of you guys do our uh, mentoring program that's how you build skills from somebody who's dead straight speaking and can, can do it and is very happy to transfer their skills across time bringing other people and money private fundraise isn't it and then here's the bits so that's all the stuff I did do yeah fine I had a mentor I built my skills I brought in a team I raised fundraising so tick 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 all by the book the stuff I didn't do I didn't manage my cash flow I was so invested in emotionally owning property that I went to own property. So I was skint for years. I mean, I was technically a multi multi-millionaire by the year three and a half, but it was all on paper. It was beyond belief skint for years. So perhaps you might let more of those little babies go, buy to sell, just to manage your own cash flow going forward. The other part, um, when I did work with people in the early days, and they were great people, by the way, I very much, because I was so anxious, kind of um, micromanaged a little bit. So really wanted to be on top of the results now there's nothing wrong with that i mean that's that's really good business practice but it just might make sense to actually make those people instead of delegated for um that responsibility where um if it all goes wrong you have to clean up you know and every now and again of course it did i mean it's just normal isn't it um but actually make them responsible so there if i look back at the time of course it felt like it wasn't possible because there wasn't enough money involved but there um, possibly things like introducing commission is a funny old word but basically introducing some kind of uh, pay and performance basis that really allows somebody to grab hold of their responsibilities and own them rather than just being told well that's your job um, but that's with hindsight and of course at the time it felt like it wasn't physically po or financially possible but I think we'd have probably progressed more doing it that way that's just reading some management books at the moment and then the third thing I would do slightly differently is I would take more time out now I did not <laughs> I mean yes you could turn around and say a eh. oh by the way and the people I work with were super people so there's not knocking them at all it's just l l learning with hindsight reading more books thinking actually that's a that's a more professional way to go and you, you'll, you'll, you won't annoy them so much because you won't be in their face suits, you know, and um, they can go deliver within their own remit or, or sadly not deliver, but it's within their own responsibility. So it's not knocking the people I work with. They were, they were the originals, they were great. And then the, the last thing is take more time off, which of course I didn't. And again, you could argue that kind of obsession to just keep going, keep going, keep going. And that crazy hard work really succeeded and yes I think so but by taking time out you just really do some reflection if you do some reflection you change course you you um, re-coordinate the course you you just have that ability to take a bit of time out to figure out are we going in the right direction rather than blindly moving forward so I might have cut a couple of business activities early had I done that uh, and not wasted the time and the most important thing you've got is time. So there you go. Do all the stuff I did do. Don't do all the stuff that I think I could have improved on if I did it again. Good luck to you.